no time to stop and appreciate the decorations, although they are perfect if I do say so myself. You really need to be getting ready. Maxie, it's really early. Oh, it's early. Yeah, that's easy for you to say. You just have to show up and say your vows. I'm the one who has to plan everything. What are you doing? No one's supposed to be in here just yet. <clears throat> Jason shouldn't be here at all. Uncle Mac, I want him to be here. I'm not kidding. I'll have Jason arrested before I let him come to your wedding. Uncle Mac, calm down. But Everything's fine. Jason still can't stay for the wedding. That's probably something we should have discussed before. Look at him. He's not even dressed for a wedding. You know better than to show up here, Jason. Okay, can I just have a moment alone with him, please? I'm gonna get the bride's room ready. Yeah, a bride's in charge on her wedding day. That's tradition, so... Hi. Hey. Oh, okay, so everything's under control. No, seriously, all I have to do is wait for the caterers to show up, make sure the cake gets here in one piece, and that the limo doesn't break down. But other than that, everything's under control. <laughs> I trust you completely, Maxie. Of course you do. Oh, damn, the priest. I didn't mean damn, not in a church. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's technically the bride's room. I don't think you're going to hell. <laughs> okay, so up or down? Um, I don't care as long as you just keep doing this. <laughs> I, I know, you meant whatever looks best with your dress. <laughs> I really don't care either way. Are you losing it? Maxie, come on, do it with me. Deep breath. <sighs> hey, thank you for talking to Jason. It means a lot to me that he's here. Well, I thought it was kind of selfish of him not to show up on your special day. And don't worry about Patrick. Oh, I'm Spinelli. We'll make sure he gets here in one piece. <laughs> now you can worry. <laughs> you know, I, Patrick and I have done enough worrying for two lifetimes, but the second I agreed to marry him, I haven't had a second thought. Reverse hormones. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go make four quick phone calls and then I'm gonna go home and change, but I'll make it back here in time to do your makeup. Everything will be great, you will see. I am sure. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I have to tell you something. I love you very much. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> this is a disaster. You're not in your tux, I'm not in my dress. We need to get out of here so we can get back here so that we're not no-shows at Robin's wedding because I planned it. Come here. Come here a second. Dad, if this is about Sit Jason. Down. It's not about Jason, right? I'm obviously powerless over that insanity. No, I'm just, uh... I'm just sitting here wondering where the time goes. You know, the first time I saw Robin was at Kelly's. She was this adorable, in-your-face little girl who absolutely knew her own mind and wouldn't take no for an answer. So, she hasn't changed much. <laughs> You know, I hate to admit it, but back then I was a bit of a troublemaker. And one day I thought my brother and his wife had been killed and suddenly I found myself responsible for raising their child. And you weren't far behind. I blinked, married your mom, and got you and Georgie in the bargain. And what a bargain it was. Sometimes it doesn't seem fair. It's almost like you got stuck with us, you no know, raising us, putting up with us, and you didn't even ask for it. Well, if it ever bothered me, I don't remember. Especially on a day like today. Wow, Robin's getting married. Soon she'll have a baby. It couldn't be more perfect. What do you think you would have done if you hadn't fallen in love with my mom? Hmm. I don't know, who knows, you know. When you're young, you're all about your career. You define yourself by what you do, not who you are. Now in those days, it was all about going off on some adventure to save the world, and then I became police commissioner, and it was about busting the bad guys. But the most important, the most important thing I ever did in my whole life was raise your three girls. The rest is gravy. Well, I think you did a really great job with Robin and Georgie. I think I did a really great job with you, too. I love you, Maxie. So much. You know, you, Robin, and Georgie are my true success. I miss your sister. I wish she could be here with us. She is dead. I'm sorry I'm 
late. I got stuck in traffic and I can get my dress to look right. And hi. Oh, your makeup's done already. Yeah, I thought I'd do a little contribution. Does it look okay? Oh, I would have put a little more shimmer on, but that's just me, whatever. Good. Here. <laughs> Come here. Listen, you're like a sister to me. And this entire day would not be happening if it wasn't for you. That's oh, true. thank you. Well, we need to take care of your something old, something new tradition. Oh, I have something old. Okay. I really do. I brought it for you. Okay, so look. Oh, it's so pretty. Isn't it beautiful? Yes. Now, I'll tell you the story about this. Hmm. Um, this was given to me by Philomena on the day that I married your dad. <sighs> yeah. So it really means something special to me because, of course, that day led to you. Hmm. Philomena, I miss I her. Know, I know. She left you like a granddaughter. She did. Looks beautiful. I have something blue for you. Hopefully it doesn't clash. Oh, that's so pretty. <laughs> have I seen wow. that before? Yeah. It was Georgie's. She would want you to have it. Thank you. I miss her almost as much as you do. I have something borrowed as well. Okay. Hmm. This is from your dad. <laughs> And it might actually come in handy today, don't you think? Exactly. <laughs> I think it might. Thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Thanks. Okay, I guess we're just missing something new. Well, no, we're not. This yeah. is the most amazingly new thing you could ever have. A little girl <laughs> right in there. <laughs> That's true. Oh, the two of you. Thank you for being here. Sure. And thank you for giving me a little piece of everybody that I love. Mm. <laughs> so pretty. <laughs> She does. I love her hair. It's so gorgeous. Okay. Is it too much? No, 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 no. No, it's perfect. Your mom's right. You look so beautiful. Uh, yeah, you do. How's his pressure? Holding steady. Is there a reason why you're watching the clock, Dr. Hunter? Uh, yeah, there's a ball game on tonight. I hate to miss it. Keep your eye on the patient. Well, I timed it out to the exact minute, so you're safe to put your dress on and not risk any major wrinkling. She is so serious. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's why she's in charge. She is organized. I, uh, are you ready yet, sweetheart? Um, uh, no, Max, she doesn't need any extra pressure. I just have to put my dress on and then I'm ready. Are we almost set out there? Not quite. I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation, or at least there's one. Uh, I, the Jekyll, have the most ominous of reports for the bridal one. Des despite a thorough search for the gallant groom, he is currently unaccounted for. I kept watch on all sensitive areas, but with no other recourse, I have to admit that I have failed in my appointed task. What the hell is okay. he saying? No, Spinelli, just tell us what happened. Dr. Drake is missing. You're just not looking hard enough. No, I, I, the Jekyll made a thorough search. He's not answering his cell phone. He's not at home. He's not in the church. As I previously explained, he is most definitely missing. 